Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the tabs widget and I'm going to show you some ways in which you can configure it to get the best use of the tab widget. So let's head over to the widget section and bring in a new tab widget into the canvas. And right here we have a tab widget showing up. The first thing we can do to configure this widget would be to set the widget name and we can do that by renaming the widget right here. So we can say for example my tab and the name of the tab widget has been updated. We can also go in to um, configure the tabs shown in the tab widget. So we have the tab section where we can easily do that. We can go in to add a new tab and we can um, go in to that tab and give it more configuration. Say we can rename this tab to tab 31 for example and we see that um, showing up here. We can also set the visibility of this tab by um, turning this visible toggle on or off and since it's a tab widget, we can use other widgets within it. Say for example, I can drag in a text widget within tab um, 31, and only when you navigate to that tab would that widget be visible. We can go ahead to delete this tab, and we only have um, the two tabs we started with showing up on uh, the tab widget. We can also set a default tab that will be shown whenever the tab widget is rendered. So this is where you go to specify what tab you want showing up. So if we want tab 2 to be showing up by default, we just say that by um, returning the string tab 2. Or we can go into JavaScript mode to write some logic that will help us determine what tab will show up at any point in time. So we have the ability to do that. I am just going to go back to making tab 2 the default tab. The next property we have is the show tabs um, toggle. And what this does is that um, we can hide the tab navigation bar we have right here. So if we want that to be hidden, we can turn this off and we see that um, we don't have the tab navigation showing. So this is really useful if you are setting the default tab dynamically. Say for example, you want teachers to only see tab one, you can um, turn the tab navigation off and use the JavaScript um, binding here to dynamically show teachers tab one. While if the user is a student, for example, uh, you can use your binding to dynamically show the user tab two. So that is um, one use case of the show tabs button. I'm going to turn this back on so that we have the navigation train. We can also make the tab content scrollable. So you can see right now we have a scroll bar. I'm going to turn this off and we can set the widget to be visible or not. Uh, by turning on the switch. And for the visibility property, we can go into JavaScript mode to write some logic that will conditionally set uh, the tab widget to be visible or not, if you want to do that. Then we also have actions. We can choose to run an action whenever a tab is selected. Say a user clicks on tab two, for example, or goes back to clicking on tab one, we can run an action. And we can choose from one of these predefined list of actions showing up right here, or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write whatever um, logic we want to be executed whenever um, a tab navigation happens. So this has been a tab widget and I hope you found this video helpful.